hey everyone welcome back to another video so in today's video we are going to see one more application of machine learning so in today's video we are going to use nlp which is natural language processing a framework from apple which is basically used to detect text classification so suppose in today's application we are going to do test classification for detecting whether the type text which we have typed is spam or not and for this we are going to use machine learning also so let's get started and if you are new to this channel i will show you first that on this channel i have created multiple machine learning projects so you can go and check them where i have shown how to create see what type of image we have uploaded using image classifier also we have created one project where i have shown you how to detect mask on the face whether the person is wearing mask or not so that is also we have done using object detector in machine learning and today is the third project we are going to do using nlp that is natural language processing so before getting starting before getting started let's see what app we are going to build so this is the app that we are going to build so here you can see it is saying enter the text below so i will say hi how are you my friend and then i will say that detect whether the spam text or not this whole sentence is spam or not and it is saying not spam okay and now let's check whether it is detecting spam text or not so i will say hi you have one prize of something big figure and now let's say detect and now it is saying that it's a spam because how many times you receive this in your text messages and basically those messages are spam so this is the app that we are going to build and you must have seen this type of applications in many places like on youtube also if you comment something spam youtube will detect that and it will tell the video creator that this is a spam comment on your video so you may remove it also in other applications also we have seen so today we are going to build the same app in ios so let's get started so for this we need to do multiple things like like in our previous video we have created machine learning model here also we need to create machine learning model so before that let me show you how you can do this and then we are going to use that machine learning model inside our ios applications so it will save our time okay so let's get started with that so the first thing what you have to do is here let me just show you what i have done here previously that i have created one machine learning model that i have used inside this app then we also seen in the previous videos that to create any machine learning model we have to provide some data first because machine learning is nothing but it tries to predict on the data which we have given so basically first we have to give some data and if you have not watched my previous two videos so i will highly recommend that to watch those videos because in that i have explained everything in depth so that i can cover these videos quickly so today's video will be not much long as compared to the previous two videos so here first what we have to do is we have to create a machine learning model so for that let's open first xcode and in xcode we have this open developer tool and then here you can see it is create ml now this create ml is basically going to give us the machine learning model so how it is going to give so click here on file after opening the create ml and then we can create a new project then here it is giving us options what type of model you want to create so i will go here under text earlier we have used this image classification and object detection now we are doing text because we are going to provide text and inside this you have two options but we are going with text classification what is word tagging i will cover that in the future video so currently i will use this text classification and click next and we can name it anything here so let's name it as text classification or you can name it as spam detector anything then click next and it will create a project so let's save it i will save it on desktop and this is what you get once you give all the data so here you can see uh, let me full size this okay so here it is expecting training data 
that we have to select then we have to give testing data also so if you don't know what is training and testing data so basically it is nothing but some predefined data like here i am in test and train i have two folders train for this test for this so let's first see the train so in train i have created two folders ham and spam spam means it's not right text ham means it's correct so basically it's opposite of that and inside this i have passed many text messages so basically i have downloaded this on google so if you search for spam text data or spam data you will get there and i have just created all those files inside this one folder ham and inside ham you can see it's all the messages which are not spam so i have collected all of them and added inside this ham folder and inside spam i have added all the messages which are not correct like here you can see free entry like this type of winner so these all are like uh, spam messages so i have added this ham and spam inside train and again in test also same ham and spam but what is the difference between train and test is that inside train you should provide maximum data like for example if you have 100 messages here so you should put your 80 percent of data inside train to train the model and test is basically after training it will test on this data and it will give us the actual result that how our model is performing so 80 percent of data should go in train and in testing it should give 20 we should give 20 percent of data so you can see here i don't have much files in test but inside train i have many files like here after adding this folder you will come to know that how many files are there so what now you have to do is i will click here select file and then you have to come here only and you have to select train and test data so here i have selected first train so i will open train folder now it is loading here and you can see here the total messages are more than 5000 in two classes that is ham and spam now let's give the testing data same test folder and here i have only 557 files so you can see here 80 percent of data and here only 20 percent of data so now what you have to do is next here at the bottom we have this transfer learning option so we are going to select that because transfer learning means there is already one machine learning model which apple has created for text classification and we are going to use that as a base model and on top of that we are going to give this data and we are going to combine those two models the model which apple has already created and our new model and we are going to create a final new model so basically it is going to use all the features of pre pre uh, trained model from apple so it will give a good performance at the end so that's why we are going to select transfer learning means it will train our model on top of the model which is already created so that's about transfer learning and here inside this i will select dynamic embedding means it will it will understand the context of the complete sentence it will not take that as a single word it will complete sentence it will take as a context means what user wants to say through that full paragraph or sentence so for that we need to select dynamic embedding so now after selecting this you have to click on train now i'm not going to click here train because if i click train here it will take a lot of time to train so i will tell you how much time it will take but now i will close this and i will open a pre defined model means uh, not predefined a model which i have created already you can see here this is ml model and this is the project which i have used before so let me close this and here you can see if i open the previous project it is same and the only difference is i have just clicked on the train button in the project and after clicking on train it will start training and it will give you the graph how it is performing so you can see here in this graph the line is straight at the very top oh, sorry so it means that it is also showing me that accuracy of this model is 99 percent and validation also done 99 percent so that's this is what it gives and also you can see here evaluation and then preview in preview you can type your data and it will give you the result same like we have typed in the actual app and the output will be like this where it will show you everything about the model size 
your name of the model and then you can see here it is showing the classes what it is ham or spam and here you can see this is our model after this training is finished now what i want to do is i want to use this model inside ios application so for that what you have to do is we have to export this so for exporting what you can do is select this and you can drag it on the desktop and it will basically put this model outside like this if i have moved it there you can see it has stacked this model here so i have also used this model previously so i will close this and now here you can see i have exported that model here which is spam classifier model so now what we have done is we have downloaded data from internet we have put that inside two folders train and train and test and then we have opened a create ml project through xcode and we have added our train and test data there we have done the training and after training we have got this ml model and now we are going to use this ml model inside our xcode project and there we will go to use ml pro ml model and nlp that is natural language processing and we are going to see how we can create our application so just to save time i have already created this application and if you want to understand everything from scratch you can check previous two videos but if i open this app it is not very difficult it is only using one function to do all the operations like c this much is the only code that we are going to use to create an app like this so you will be very surprised that only using one line it is giving us all the results so what is there in this application so let's see so first i have added this ml model you can see which i have created i am just dragged and dropped that model inside xcode and after that there is nothing inside app delegate scene delegate there is nothing and in view controller we have this much of code and in the main storyboard i have just created my ui you can see i have just used one navigation controller and on this view i have just given title here is one label here is our this text view and at the bottom i have this detect spam or not button i have created action for this outlet for this no not for this uh, yeah yeah i have created this because i need to access that sentence and at the bottom i have the result label which you can see this one which is telling us whether it is spam or not so that's all for this storyboard and now let's come back to our view controller and now here you can see i have used my text view to get the text which user has typed result label where i have to show the result and now once user click on this detect button i have called this method and inside this i have just checked whether my text view is empty or not if it is empty i am just returning back and then after this i have done the operations on my this machine learning model which i have added here so you know already in the previous videos i have explained you this in detail but i will again explain you here so what we are doing is first we have imported natural language framework from apple and then once that framework is there then you can use this nl model that is natural language model and for this model it is expecting one ml model so we have created this ml model using create ml that we have added here and i have given that directly here so if you don't know how it is detecting directly this class so basically when you add your model here it will basically directly cre create classes for you so it on your project already has all the classes that requires to access this model so i have just typed the same name here and dot model so it will get the model and i am using here try because it may throw empty model or it will not detect the model so that's why we are using this do try catch and here inside catch i have just said fail to load the nlp model and if it has detected the model so i have called that spam detector and on that we have this one function called pre-detected label for the message which we have passed to this function which user has typed and now after this if somehow it will not suppose it won't be able to detect anything from that message so it will say fail to predict the result and if it has predicted then result will come inside this so that's why i have used guard let because if there is no result then return from here only no need to go ahead and if there is some result then it will come inside prediction and it, we will go to the next line so if you don't know why we have used guardlet and iflet guardlet basically called as early exit which will basically if there is no result we will return from here only so it's called early exit and 
we will come if there is result we can use this value which is extracted below this guard let statement also and if you want to say that why we have not used if let if let basically used to uh, use the extracted value inside that loop only inside this loop only but we want to use this outside this loop that's why we have used guard let okay so about guard let in if let now once we get the value inside this prediction we can come here and here you can see i have just checked whether my prediction is equal to equal to spam means the classes which we have created here you can see inside this i have created spam and ham here also spam and ham so i am just checking if the prediction that whatever the user has typed if this prediction is equal to spam then show the message as spam otherwise show the message as not spam so this is basically called as ternary operator which i have used here and i have up, i have appended result at the top at the start so that it will show like this result colon spam or not spam and at the bottom i have just changed the color again using ternary operator if it is a spam then show the red otherwise show the green text color for our label so that's all guys only this much is needed to create this type of project let's run it again and see okay so it has launched let's type again and now we we'll click on this it will say not a spam because it's basic message where you say hi to your friend but if you say that you have won the prize money of some big figure then it will say it's a spam so you can use this application basically if you are creating a chat application you can use there suppose someone is typing some spam messages then you can avoid that so before sending the message you can pass that message through this model and you can detect and you can stop that message there only so this is one application which you can use so yeah thank you guys for watching this video i hope you have learned something new again from this channel and to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe so that you get the notification also for my next videos you can click on that bell icon so that you will not miss any of the videos and yeah to see more such updates you can follow me on this channel where you can see uh, let me close this i have this instagram page i where i post my daily updates like you can see this video now we'll click on next here you can see one more video so like this i post daily updates so whenever i try learn something new i try to share with the community because everyone is learning from each other so i like to share everything with the community so yeah that's all guys for today's video thank you so much for watching and i hope you having great time learning swift ui and other features in iOS. Bye.